Got your text. What's up, brother? Hey, what's up, man? Mm. So the machine's all ready to go. We need to wire our part off our build plate. I was looking at tooling and I didn't see anything that would work. I thought we could make a cool fixture. Awesome. I wanted to get your take on that. Cool, man. Can you explain exactly where it's gonna sit inside this EDM? So I thought a good way to do it would be to suspend the part out onto the tank like this. The wire would come through and it would cut it off just like that. So essentially we need kind of like a right angle fixture or something that can hold our part just like this. Awesome. All right, so you're gonna be right here and then you want it to come up and this part has to be overhanging over the water that's right? right yep and then what size threads are these so these are m8 threads awesome how about we do actually kind of like an l shape that comes over here and make it nice and thick so like it kind of dampens and it's just strong mm -hmm. and i have an idea on how you can hold this that would be super simple efficient and the part could weigh like 200 pounds and it would have no issues whatsoever sounds good cool biggest thing is that we have a nice big piece of material that we can actually lock this thing on and then we'll grip it right around that diameter uh, let me show you this example awesome let's check it out all right, so Trevor, you walk past this thing every single day. Yep. And uh, I think it's actually a great example for this fixture that you want to do, all right? Now, a couple cool things about this fixture. One, it's very similar to what you're gonna do, okay? Because that is a big diameter where we actually took the stock from the lion and then slipped it right inside. And then you have these Mighty Bite pit bull clamps going around, but they're machinable. So you take the base, you slide it in, and then you machine the pit bull clamps with the exact radius of your build plate. So it's absolutely perfect. And then it just locks on. This one has like two layers of pit bull clamps and I staggered it because this was 200 pounds and I just wanted to grab it like parallel and just hold this thing so I could flip it and nothing would happen. But for you, you just need one layer We'll make the diameter of the plate inside. We'll make it nice and thick, boom, bolt it down. And then you just put the build plate right in there. Pitbull clamps, clamp, 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 clamp. It'll be absolutely perfect, boom. I like it. So we actually have some of the pitbull clamps here. So I'll go grab those, give them to Barry, sketch it up for him, and then he can knock out the model. We'll let Jesse machine it. Keep doing what you're doing. Sounds good, man. Uh, we'll get it done tomorrow. Right on. All right, brother. All right. What's up, Trev? Hey, what's up, man? Got your Dude. fixture here. Wow, that looks beautiful. Nice made, work, man. Yeah, we made it nice and thick like Titan wanted. Right on. Another thing we did is after we milled this pocket and bolted everything together, I flipped it up, <laughs> indicated this in, and match machined both these blocks together. So you have a nice 90 degree surface, so. Perfect. Well, I appreciate you knocking that out for me, dude. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and install that into the machine. I'm gonna indicate it in square, and then we're gonna cut our part off the build plate. Nice. All right. 
So now that Jesse is finished with our fixture, we're gonna go ahead and install it on the table of our AB35. We're gonna take our indicator and we're gonna sweep the front face of it in square. We're gonna bolt it down and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. So now our custom fixture is complete. It's exactly what we needed. Everything looks great. We can effectively cut our parts off our build plate now. I love it when the team comes together to solve a problem like this. Stay tuned for our next video where we're gonna take the wire and we're gonna cut this fluid mixer in half and then we're gonna cut it off the build plate and show you guys what's inside. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you guys in the next video.